Bollywood actors have to be among the most entitled, spoiled, privileged people in the world. And yet all they ever seem to be able to do is complain and moan, especially these days where the more political you are, the more brownie points you get on Twitter, the more roles you're likely to get. This has seen people that used to be based and actually made common sense suddenly come out radicalized and complain about the very things that have enabled them to live such lavish lifestyles. In the case of Charlize Theron, this has resulted in her coming out and complaining about the fact that she's hot, that directors wanted her to be in their movies because she's hot, and they wanted her to be hot in the movies, and they wanted her to dress and to be made up to be hot. How, I mean, how entitled and spoiled is that? Oh no, I'm pretty. Everybody wants me to be pretty, and they're gonna pay me to be pretty. How? How do you convince yourself that this is a bad thing? It's ridiculous. Let's take a look, shall we? Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there, and if you are enjoying the content, I'd very much appreciate a subscribe, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get over here to the obviously biased website, Giant Freaking Robot, which uh, has a great name, but very often misses the point entirely. Uh, with an article here, uh, Charlie's Theron is upset that directors wanted her to look desirable. This has been phrased in multiple ways, uh, from desirable all the way down to uh, bangable, which uh, which is pretty much exactly what it really means. So, Charlize Theron opens up about her experiences being objectified earlier in her career. Oh no! Did the poor little Hollywood actress get objectified in the visual media for which she tried to get work? It's not like she was kidnapped and forced to be in these movies. Ridiculous. Uh, Academy Award winning actress Charlize Theron recently opened up about terrible experiences she had. While speaking with Harper's Bazaar, the actress revealed that one filmmaker she worked with had her attend multiple wardrobe fittings to make her look more effable on camera. The Mad Max star stated that the situation was more of the norm for her earlier in her career. Yes? So? Do you think Chris Hemsworth? is worrying about money, and all he has to do is get in the gym and half kill himself and pump himself full of God knows what so that he looks like an Adonis. But they're paying him, they're paying him well, and they've paid you well, and you've won an Academy Award for being pretty. Jesus. Charlize Theron said having no control over what she wore greatly annoyed her. Yeah, you're in a movie. The costume isn't up to you. You're playing a character that isn't you. Of course you don't get to choose what you wear. The Snow White and the Huntsman star is known for her striking look and presence on camera. While Theron has garnered respect amongst her male peers in the industry, earlier on it seemed as if some weren't giving her the benefit of the doubt regarding her opinions. Well, yeah, because she's not a costume designer. Rather than taking in her opinions, the male director was said to have ignored anything Charlize Theron suggested at the time. The actress continued saying that the outfits were non-negotiable and she had no control over what she wore. So? So what? You've done nudity for crying out loud. According to Theron, the director had no intention of having a decent conversation with her. So? You're a hired gun. You're the help. You're the talent. You're the talking props. Actors. You are not in control of the story. You are not making the decisions. You are doing as you're told. That's your job. How do people think... That this? this is like going and working for McDonald's and arguing over having to wear the uniform. Arguing about how the burgers should be cooked. Like, that is not your job. That's not your remit. Sod off. The actress has been making up for what she had to deal with. Er, had to deal with. <gasps> oh, it's so hard to be gorgeous. <laughs> Early on in her career, Charlize Theron now appears more in control of her character. Yeah, well, it's because she's not as hot as she used to be. Now, the only way to get roles is if she can actually act. Fortunately, she can. I used to like Charlize Theron. She's been in a lot of roles that I really liked. I even liked her in A Million Ways to Die in the West. I thought she was hilarious in that and kind of based. Well, whatever. They can't all be cool and hot. Charlize Theron now appears more in control as is choosing roles best suited for her strength as an actress, such as Furiosa in the critically acclaimed Mad Max Fury Road. While filming the actual project may have been a pain for Theron with her infamous reported issues with star Tom Hardy. Oh no, you don't like everybody that you're working with? <laughs> God damn, spoiled brats. The role helped the actress gain a significant following and redefined her career. 
Yes, it did. And there she is there looking decidedly unhot. I mean, that's basically what happens when you get a little older. You better be able to back it up with some actual talent. So there you go. I mean, this is a woman who has basically been afforded opportunity after opportunity after opportunity off the strength of her being naturally beautiful. And now she wants to complain about it. That's that's the industry you're in, darling. What do you want to do about it? A better looking woman will always get roles over an uggo. And no, you don't get to contribute to how the professional wardrobe department is going to make you look your best. If you don't like it, don't be an actress. Just don't become an activist. Anyway, that's enough for this topic. What do you think about Charlize Theron? Spoiled brattishness here. I mean, I still would. But maybe with a bit of tape over the mouth first. Ha! Anyway, there you go. Let me know what you think about this. And if you like the video, like the video. Then, uh, of course, subscribe to the channel if you would be so kind. Thank you very much. I'll be back with another video for you a bit later on. But until then, see you next time.